One of the most common questions I get asked from students all the time is, what brush should I be using? And this video is to really just kind of help solve some of that mystery. Today's first brush is the angular brush. It gets its name because it has this angle on the edge of the bristles. And an angular brush has a nice wide flat spot. And we can also, you know, pull down, pull across, but it's really good for being able to get into the corner of a space. Our next brush is called Bright, and Bright and Flats are really similar. The big difference is that the Bright is a little bit of a shorter bristle length than the Flat, but they have both, you know, like kind of a flat top edge. It's almost kind of what I think of as like a normal paintbrush, if you imagine a paintbrush. So a bright is really good for doing a long stroke where you can fill in. Um, not as good in the angles as the angular. You'd have to kind of turn your hand more to get the same space. Um, so it's, it's a nice, good, common brush to have. In contrast, the flat brush has longer bristles for the same width or a shorter width for the same length, depending upon how you want to think about it. You're going to be able to load more paint onto a longer kind of pulling stroke. One of my favorite brushes is the Filbert brush. Not just because it has a fun name, but because it has a lot of the great qualities of a flat or a bright brush. It's got long uh, bristles like the flat does and it has a nice rounded edge to it so it can help give a softer edge than the starkness of a flat or a bright. And I find that really helpful when I'm doing nature paintings. There might be something like foliage that needs a little bit of a softer edge and so the filbert is my friend for that. This one is a round brush. It gets its name because it's round. I know, who would have guessed? Um, it is nice because you can do long linear brush strokes and you can turn it in your hand and you never hit a different edge. So you're never like, oh, I'm on the edge of the brush. Whereas with something like a bright, you'd have one edge and then another edge and if you moved it you're gonna get a ver variation in the thickness. A round brush is always going to have that same thickness if you're on the edge pulling and um, it's not good for going kind of sideways like that. You'll notice that that's not a great um, spread on the bristles right there. You're moving in the wrong direction for this brush. So if you want something like that, you want to have something that fans out a little bit. In fact, there are fan brushes. I don't have one to show you. I'm sure you've seen it before. Um, they're the ones that go out, but I don't own one because I've tried to use one before and it never works for me. I don't know how people use fan brushes. Some people swear by them. To me, they just make everything look like Bob Ross painting and I'm not wanting my work to look like Bob Ross. I want my work to look like Kristen O'Neill. We have other fun brush types. This is a cat's tongue. It is um, kind of like a filbert, but it comes to a point and it's gonna give you a wash with a rounded edge. Isn't that fun? can also be good for getting into the corner and pulling away like the angular does, but it still has a little bit more of a soft edge to that pull than the angular does. The angular can get a little bit more of a hard edge. See that difference? This is a little bit more curvy and it's a little bit more geometric. So basically when it comes to brush shape, those are the main ones. There's also this really fun, big, wide kind of brush, like a, a paddle brush, um, they're also called a, a Mottler, M-O-T-T-L-E-R. Um, they are gonna take a lot more paint, as you can imagine. The brush stroke is a lot bigger with a paddle brush. This has been a really good brush for me when I've done giant paintings. Um, 
you know, 40 by 40 or bigger because I can move my whole body with the brush. Just use what works for you. There's no art police that are going to come and take you away if we're using the wrong brush for the wrong situation. Um, just think about the size and the handle and what's comfortable for you, what you enjoy. Try out a couple of different brushes. I always recommend going to your local art store because they are a great place to get help. Not the big box stores, but the local stores where there's like really people there that know what they're talking about beyond gold um, for you to have somebody in person be able to talk to you about the brushes they have for sale there and what their experiences are and meet your exact needs. If you wanna know more about brushes, I have a guide and it is linked below. Also a link to brushes that I have used that I really enjoy are linked below as well. So you can just go right to the source without getting lost in a thousand online brush possibilities. So hope this has helped. If you have a comment or need help with something else, just drop a comment below. I'm happy to help. Also, I really appreciate it. If you did like it to go ahead and like it because that helps YouTube go, oh yeah, this is a video worth showing other people. So that will help me help more people. So thank you and I'll see you next time.